This is her hometown news station. It was a dream for her to work at WDBJ7 and for Adam. He was an incredible photojournalist. Both of them worked in the mornings, but you know, it's been such a hard day for a lot of us. Still heavy police presence out here and part of the road now is blocked off. We've been talking to people about what happened. A lot of people are left with many unanswered questions like why and what happened. A former Floyd County bailiff said he lost his job last week after a letter to the editor in support of candidate Doug Weddle. So Matt he arrived here at the Charlottesville Audubon Regional Jail about 7 o'clock and he arrived to Charlottesville by a private plane from Texas. They don't have to hire outside companies to clean up meth labs. Instead, they train their own employees to separate the materials and then put in trailers like this one. There were about 100 rail cars involved in the derailment and as you can see, the NTSB is still pulling some of the tanks out of the James River. The fire has now spread quickly across the mountain behind me. Now, it's hard to imagine what crews are actually dealing with so we wanted to show you in exclusive footage from above 220 looks like now in Finn Castle you could see actually down to pavement how thousands of runners laced up their shoes to tackle the Blue Ridge Marathon it's a marathon some put on their bucket list to complete after the man dragged her out of the house he told her to open up the car door that's when she took the keys and threw them into the woods had about 60 vultures in trees and on dumpsters and they're actually right behind me hanging out in those trees as well I have to admit, it was a little bit eerie to see so many of them circle above my head. Yeah, they wouldn't say if he was in a gang or how he's connected to some of these incidents. Police said they're focused on finding out whoever is responsible. I mean, those many shots at a time, you don't know where they're going to go. Margaret Miller was at home when she heard shots fired in front of her house Monday morning. It really scared us. We, we didn't know what was going on and we jumped up and everything, but we stayed back in the back because it's safer in the back when shots and stuff are going on. Police say eight shots were fired into this home on the 1100 block of Y Street. No one was injured, but police say this shooting is connected to five others, including the fatal shooting of 16-year-old Jesse Page over the weekend on 13th Street. His brother says Page was at the wrong place at the wrong time. That's my mom's son. That's my brother. Like... Anybody would feel the same way we feel. However, police say the shootings are all drug or gang related. A few blocks away from where Page and two other people were shot, a home on the 1000 block of Floyd Street was also another target. Clyde Hubbard, who lives a few houses down, says he's scared for his grandchildren who visit him. Well, I think all this needs to be stopped. Somebody's, some more innocent people going to get killed. I don't know what all this is about, but it needs to be stopped. Police said they want to find all those connected to the shootings and find justice for Paige's family, but are having a hard time. They say the public isn't cooperating, but are hoping people would come forward before someone else falls victim. Now, police say that they have increased some of their patrols up where some of the incidents have happened, like here on 13th Street. But they say the public isn't in great danger. However, they do want people to come forward if they have any tips. So far, police have 70 leads on this case. In Lynchburg, Ananda Rochita, WSLS 10. Some residents I spoke to said they are dependent on bottled water to cook, clean, and drink with. They're hoping their tap water will go back to what it used to be, but city officials don't know when that may be. Did you ever smell fish tank water when it was needed changed real bad? It's an unusual reaction to water. But here in Danville, it has forced some residents like Judy Nazai to find alternatives for her and her pets. They say it's safe, but I can't get it past my nose. She noticed the change in her tap water earlier this year. It stopped a few weeks ago and recently went back to what she describes as the earthy, moldy smell. But I can't draw water even to cook spaghetti in. I can't rinse the spaghetti. Everything that you took for granted. Not only are residents frustrated, but also business owners. I mean, we've just had to keep buying all the bottles and cans of soda. Connie Ekman, who owns Jake's on Main, goes through about $100 worth of bottled water a week. I mean, we're a smaller restaurant. We only seat 72 people, but 
Uh, we go through probably two cases of water a day. The city of Danville started using carbon after it noticed a change in water, but stopped recently. Shortly after, people noticed the odor and odd taste back in their tap water. It could have been just one event and it kept lingering, but we stopped feeding the carbon because we thought it was gone. At this time, there is no exact reasoning behind the change in the water, but believes it could be because of an algae bloom due to the weather. It's something the city is calling a natural phenomenon that has impacted thousands of residents and business owners who are left waiting for their water to clear up. A city official told me the water is safe to drink and they've sent additional samples to get tested. People come to River Edge Park for views of the James River, but now cameras are pointed beyond the water, capturing shots of this rare scene. That's not a normal sound we normally hear. Amanda so Fortner was one of the people who witnessed the aftermath of the derailment. It's not something you're expecting, and it was a lot of smoke and something you are hoped to be prepared for, and we were. She's used to hearing trains go by, working just a few yards away from the tracks at Amazement Square. Whenever the sounds of trains are nearby, children watch them from this fourth floor window. The center is usually packed with several hundred children, but now is closed, just like other businesses by where the derailment happened. Devo Grill is a restaurant in an area blocked off for only crews to come in. However, they've been able to stay busy with some unlikely customers. We've been in operation 24-7 since. Uh, the NTSB and CSX have made the Depot Grill their headquarters and we're feeding them. Some of the people from the NTSB will stay here for several more days to investigate. There were about 100 rail cars involved in the derailment. And as you can see, the NTSB is still pulling some of the tanks out of the James River and moving them to a place where they can inspect them further. Officials from the NTSB say it'll take more than a year to complete their whole investigation. And for now, crews continue to work while people from across the water watch as more answers to questions about what happened are slowly unfolding. In Lynchburg, Ananda Rochita, WFLS 10. Say. Well, but with each of his siblings today and all of them started crying when I asked what they miss most about their brother. But they are all strong and wanted to talk to us about what made Jerry Hodges so special in their lives. This album is a timeline capturing Jerry Hodges throughout the years. That's him right there, John T. Nursing Home. With family from the beginning. Yeah, he was always smiling. To the end. All of this is his funeral. James Hodges, just like the rest of his sisters, is honoring his brother's life by remembering him during better times. No matter what you did for him, he always thanked you and told you, says, I love y'all. And it, it's just so sad. Jerry Hodges was found dead in January. Police say his body was wrapped in plastic and put inside a closet type container in his daughter's basement. Jessica Hodges Turner and her husband Benjamin Allen Turner are facing multiple charges involving his death. Jerry's sister Brenda Arrington says she's still coping with the news. It's really shocked to all of us and um, if something could happen like that because it didn't have to happen. The family says it's been tough since they're learning more disturbing details about the case nearly every day. Recently, unsealed search warrants stated Jessica Turner used money from her father's accounts to pay her car insurance and household expenses. And Jerry's other sister, Marie Hodges, says it's unbelievable. Jerry loved his little Jessica. He called her a little bit. And it, said, it just breaks my heart. The family says it's been hard to say goodbye the way they did, but are hoping remembering him when he was alive and what he loved. He liked to write. May possibly make this reality a bit easier for them to grieve. The fire has now spread quickly across the mountain behind me. Now it's hard to imagine what crews are actually dealing with, so we wanted to show you an exclusive footage from above. Heavy smoke covering Short Hill Mountain in Botetourt County can be seen from miles away. You can see the smoke on the horizon there. To get a closer look, we took a ride with Ricky May. But I would imagine they'll have their hands full the windier it gets. The train is rocky, the land steep, and the brush is thick. 
It's a small glimpse of what crews are dealing with below. The weather certainly is one of the largest factors uh, involved in a wildland fire. Uh, the driving winds that were occurring yesterday and are occurring today uh, make it dangerous. Because of weather, the fire is expected to spread anywhere between 400 to 500 acres. It's one of the reasons why crews are also paying close attention to people who live nearby. Stephen Chestnut lives off of Short Hill Road and smelled the smoke from his home when it started. Yeah, you're absolutely concerned about it because you don't know if it's your home or what. <laughs> you just see the smoke and this, that, and the other, and it's like, you know, that's the mountain I live on. Officials say there are homes like Chestnut scattered across the mountain. More crews and equipment are being brought in to help in hopes of quickly containing this growing spring wildfire.